Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. How's it going, people? Monday. It's Monday. How's your day going? How was the weekend? Are we all ready? I'm already, teacher, but the, the, week, the weekend was so, so stressed. And we had, sorry, I had a lot of work. Did you, did you work uh, in the company or you continue working at home? Oh, I working at home, but uh, for example, on Friday, um, I finished to, I finished to work at um, 1 a.m. to Saturday. Wow. And after I start again to 8 a.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. And finish to 8 p.m. Wow. Okay, yeah, so I, you worked from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m.? Yes, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wow. And I need to, I have a, I, I had a meeting with a song manager on, um, what? I'm sorry, I confuse sometimes in the Sunday and Monday. Oh, okay, uh -huh. on Sunday. <laughs> yes. I on Sunday? Had a, a meeting on Sunday, yes. Because Yesterday. We need, yes, because we need to to know about the all the progress about Black Friday, about the Black Weekend, all the with uh, marketing meeting, sometimes uh, it's very complicated. Wow. So you're working a lot, you're making more money, huh? Yes, but I prefer to to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the high season finishes soon for you. So you can have some time for yourself and for your family as well. Yes. Well, after the Black Friday, it's not um, it's more relaxed. It's, relaxed it's more relaxing. It's more relaxing because uh, in December it's not high to the this just for for car or maybe for some a store, but not for a house. The people don't buy house, don't buy also the people buy another another things like a, a Things for cook or things for eat, something like that. Things for cooking, things for eating. Okay, thank you. That's good. That's good. Well, uh, I hope everything goes well for you in this high, high, high season, uh, Mr. Benitez. Let me say hello to Jaime Avelar. Good to see you, Jaime. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Angel. Ah. I, I feel well tonight today. You feel um, well? Yes. Great. And, and where where have you been? You have been absent, is that right? Sorry? You have been absent the previous classes. Yes, because uh, the last Friday I I am so very, very, very tired. And I why? I, um because I my father is, is sick, very sick, and in the work, I have a lot of work. And all things is uh, convenient to, to be with me. <laughs> definitely, definitely, I agree with you. And today is so late, so I don't know how do you say it. Mas, menos, men, menos stress, so less stress. It's less stressful today, because, huh? Yes, 
Um, the in the school when I I work, um, we 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 have a a mundialito. <laughs> <laughs> a little workup. A little workup, yeah. And <laughs> the the activity is uh, is. Uh, it's very good for the teacher and very good for the, the student because they play the football and... Ah, it's students versus teachers. No, 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 it's a student versus a student. Because, ah, students versus but, students, okay. Uh, the teacher is the DT. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's a good experience. I understand. Uh, I imagine that it was very fun. Yes, 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 it's very fun. And how do you say guitar? <laughs> guitar, like like screen or 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 gel? Um, no, like a uh, hey, move, uh, play, no say. <laughs> oh, cheering, cheering up, cheering up, cheering, oh, up. Okay. cheering up the teams, sure. huh? Yes. Yes, the, this is the, the activity in the recess and the lunch time. And all uh, and the other other time we have a class. But we we have a this time for the, there is less stress or relaxing. I don't mm -hmm. okay, that's good. It's, it's healthy to have a, a day like that, you know, with the students yes. to release the stress, mm -hmm. to yeah. let all those energies go, maybe even the negative energies. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so it's healthy. I'm glad to have you back, Jaime. Let me say hello to Daniel Florentino. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Okay, nothing new, sir? Mm, not really, no. It's a normal day on Monday. Mm -hmm. So my weekend was relaxing at home. I really, I stay at home. I let me see. Rest. <laughs> Only that. I rested. Rested. Uh, I watched the... the how no, I'm you telling say? you the, the simple pass of the verb rest. What is the rest. simple pass? Rested. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I watched the, the... The match? The soccer match? Match, yes. The soccer match on Thursday. The last Saturday, yes. It mm. was wonderful. Yes. It's my it's, first it's... soccer match that I... In had. this World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Complete. <laughs> complete. Complete. Uh -huh, complete. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's a show. It's a show. Um, they are playing very well. All the all the teams, all the countries are playing very well. Like if it is a final, right? So it gets very excited. So these are very good games. Very good games. Yes. Yes. It was very, very, very nice. The last Saturday. Only that. <clears throat> Good to hear from you. What about you, Daniel Alvarez? Welcome to your class. How's it going, sir? A horrible day. It's a horrible Monday. <laughs> Are you at least feeling better? No. Last week you were a little sick. The same thing. <laughs> same the thing. Same, the same feeling. And the work is doesn't work. The work doesn't work? What you mean the work doesn't work? I don't know. <laughs> the work... Uh, y lo empeora, no sé cómo es que es. Get, going... get, gets it worse? It's it right. gets it worse? <laughs> yes, I have um emergency at the end of the day. And the idea is uh, to see how I react for that situation, that emergency. Hmm. Okay, that's a challenge right there, sir, for you. That's a challenge. 
In other words, I, I feel my soul get off of my body. <laughs> you saw your Something soul like getting out of your body. Oh my god, that's terrible. That's that's different, huh? What the the day is ending to them. The day is ending now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the day is ending for you. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad to hear from you. Okay. And let me say hello to Sabrina Garcia. What's new with you, lady? Um, it's raining with you. I think that it not go, it's not raining anymore because we are on summer. But it's raining now. <laughs> are you in San Salvador? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Where I'm at, it's raining as well. Yeah. Well, what's new with you, Miss Garcia? Huh? No, there is no any news for me. No update. Same old, same old. Okay, let's say hello to Manuel Escamilla. How's it going, Manu? Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Ooh, are you better now or no? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Uh, only, only I'm tired. And all day I was working. In the morning, I planning of the new job. And the afternoon, I was working as a training and different and different professionals and about the climate change and is i i think so is really it's really difficult um training uh, online is i i i i feel hard is uh, use the 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 oh my god the platforms the no ah oh, the platform and the and the and the Zoom's meeting and the Zoom's uh, meeting <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you see and, you see that is hard huh my job yeah, is it's, easy. it's really hard oh is please okay, break break the rooms and please uh, uh, work work at at the, at the group mm -hmm. it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, than in person. Ah, oh, yeah, different in person. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's untied. Me too, I imagine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then uh, let me say hello to Kathy Soriano. Hello, Miss Soriano. Hello. Tell us about it, Miss Soriano. Um, last week you were sick, weren't you? Yes, I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> you still sick? Yes. Uh -huh. How's that possible? Almost two weeks. Aren't you I taking don't... your medication? Yes, I don't know what is happening with my voice. <laughs> yeah, but is it is it only your voice now or you still have cough, you have fever, you have chills, body aches? Uh -huh. Some cough, but a little. Ah, but last week you you had fever, so this yes. week you don't have fever, so at least you are getting better. No, I am. Um, yes, I'm. I'm saying that I am. I'm good. <laughs> okay, are you working already? Yes, today I I start again. You started again today, so you came back to work today. Yes. Yes. What do you do, Kathy? I'm a receptionist. Oh my bilingual gosh! Bilingual receptionist. <laughs> You're a bi bilingual receptionist bilingual with speaker. your with your voice a little damaged right now. Yeah. <laughs> so you answer the phone in English or in Spanish? Yes, in English or in Spanish, but in English, most oh. of the time it's in Spanish. Yes. Most of the time it's in Spanish. Okay, Kathy. I'm glad I'm gonna count with you today on this class. Right. So let me say hello to Lady Ventura. Miss Ventura, how's it going tonight? Good evening. I'm great. Now I feel better. 
Wait, wait, wait. I can hardly hear you. Um, do you have your microphone on? I can't, I cannot hear you. Give me a second. I, I shine my, I use my earphone. Give me All right. No problem. No problem. Anyways, I'm happy to have all of you guys around. I can see a bunch of students now. That makes me happy. That motivates me a lot. A teacher gets motivated when the students are in class. Let me then um, wait for a lady. Maybe she comes back. Lady in red is dancing with me, cheek to cheek. Nobody here. Nobody Come on. here. Come on, join <laughs> me, guys. It's just you and me. You don't like singing songs? You don't need Oh, what in love, be beautiful, my side. There you go. There you go. We can work as singers. Vaya, y ahora cantado. Now sing. <laughs> hey, that's a good one, Danny. Okay, to, to my pocket, to my pocket. <laughs> Are you ready, Miss Ventura? Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. How's it going? We missed you last week, lady. We missed you last week. We didn't have you like a like hundred percent, right? You were working, you were sick. Yeah, it's difficult and it's, and uh, um, on Saturday, my daughter cut with the glass and we had to carry it to energy and had to find point in, in, in her, her oh, hand. My, oh my god yeah. that was a big accident yeah only she she has to wash the glasses and when when she uh, put her her hand um i don't know what happened and oh my god how in in less than one minute a situation like that can happen an accident. Yes, but yeah, uh, she's normally with a child, but it's, it's, it's level up in this time, Man. but it's better now. How many children do you have? I have two children. Two children, One. boy and girl? Yes. How lucky. How blessed. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you. I'm very happy you're back. Let me say hello to who? Let me say hello to, let me see, Mr. Julio. Hello, Mr. Julio, how's it going tonight? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, teacher. I I anxious for learning English. I love yeah. that answer. Okay, yes. let's go with the attendance, people. Lady Carolina Ventura Valdez. Present. Thanks. Angel Antonio Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. All right. Carmen Eugenia Tremino Reyes. Present teacher. All right, Carmen. Daniel Arquimedes Florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ezequiel Alvarez Mejia. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana Andino. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Jacqueline Yesenia Miranda Rodriguez. Present. <laughs> Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortez. Present. Jose Mario Valdez Gomez. Good evening, everyone. Awesome. Jose Rene Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Julio Cesar Marino Gonzalez. <laughs> Watch your present, cough. Present, Catherine. Present. Yes, sir. July. I got you, July. Okay. Catherine Lisette Caceres Montesino. Present, mister. 
Kathy Denise Oriano Villacorta. Present. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present. Osvin, <laughs> Osvin Alexis Flores Hernandez. Present teacher. Got it. Sabrina Lisette Garcia Orellana. Present. Body House, Marielos Janet, Cornejo Erazo, Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo, Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis, and Cristian Josué Lopez Perez. Okay, very well. So let's go ahead and get started with our session tonight, guys. Thank you so much for connecting, for being punctual, and for being committed towards your dream of becoming a bilingual individual. Um, well, today we're going to learn um, new vocabulary, and I'm going to share with you my screen hopefully everything works right and i don't have to take a picture of this let me check let me know please confirm if you're so kind oh now it does give me the option here we go if you're kind enough please confirm if you can visualize my screen can you Yes. 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 Okay, awesome. In that case, uh, let's go ahead and learn expressions to clarify a point. These are expressions to clarify when you want to make a, a, a remark, when you want to make a statement, when you want to clarify something. Um, these are some of the expressions you could use. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. But first, let's clarify or let's talk about them. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification. You know, we're talking about different kind of topics. And um, sometimes you need to take a moment to clarify something, to make sure that what you're saying is clearly understood as crystal water, not as our chata water, right? So clarification, the explanation or exemplification of your ideas as we speak. Use in other words, repeat guys, in other words. In other, in other words, words. Other words. In other words. In other words, in other words. Mm -hmm. we also have that is, that is, or that you can is. say simply put, simply put, simply put, simply put. Simply put. etc. Right? The, these are expressions to make your point clear to others. Let's go ahead and get some participation from you. Let's start with Daniel Florentino. Why don't you read for us? This uh, first item. Okay. One way to help your target market, like a trust, your is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blow that informs entertains and educators. Okay, okay. So you see, I'm explaining my topic here. I'm explaining my topic here and I'm using a clarify point, an expression to clarify point in other words. So one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog, 
that informs, entertains, and educates. So here I'm trying to clarify my, my intentions, right? Write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. This is just one random example. Let's go over the second example to take a look. Let's see, Cathy Soriano, go ahead and help us with item two. Okay. You can increase your reading as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is to say, record your talk, your talks and allow your customers to download it. To download, download it. Download it. Awesome, awesome reading. Thank you. So increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is, record your talks and allow your customers to download it. That is, that is the clarifying expression. Okay, let's go over number three. And that's gonna be read by, let me see, we're gonna choose uh, Carmen Tremino. Number three, please. Yes, teacher. Today's customers are looking for guarantees, mm -hmm. simply exceptional service after they have. Um, how do you purchase say this word? Purchase. purchase your product. Yes, today's customers are looking for guarantees. Simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased, they have purchased your product. Brock, your Do you understand product. purchase? Your purchase. Purchase. Do you understand this verb, purchase? Nope. Nope? Nope. Okay, purchase is the synonym of buy. Yes, B-U-Y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So purchase, we use it more in the company, right? It's a term that we use at work. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to the mall, you say, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going shopping, right? I'm going to go shopping. Or you say, I'm going to buy me a pair of shoes. You never say I purchase <laughs> because this expression is more commonly used at the company, right? Purchase. Okay, let's go over activity or item number four. That's gonna be read by Daniel Ezekiel. Go for it. I guess he's not available. In that case, we're gonna choose Kathy Montesino. Oh, did I already? I already made you participate, right? Let me go with uh, Lady Ventura instead. I don't Number participate. Four, no? I'm sorry, no. I confused you with... Um, with Cathy Denise, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry, if you want, Lady yeah. can, can read. Number four, yes. Me or Lady? You first and then Lady. Okay. Another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. Name, namely? Namely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Namely a Facebook group. So if we mention it, that's a Facebook group, okay? Namely. Do you understand this phrase? It says, another free marketing resource. This is a resource, like another tool, right? For your current internet, internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social network networking site. Uh, to make the mention, yeah? Namely, namely, a Facebook group. Do you have any doubt? Do you have any question on this one?
No. All right. Guys, great. Let's go over number five. Lady, it's your turn. Okay. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This, which means that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. Yeah, remember, you can use either or. You can say, this means, yeah, this means, I prefer this one, which means, which means, you can say this means or you can say which means, yeah? This means or which means. Yeah. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This means that you must focus on satisfying customers' need. Um, which means that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. Yes? Mister, and it's, it's not the same to say, I'm, I mean? I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, that is also a clarifying expression. That is definitely another clarifying expression. You can use it as well. Now, um, I want you to try to give examples. Mm -hmm. Can you explain something, uh, maybe a process that you do in your company? And can you clarify, can you, can you clarify that using these kind of expressions? Clarification expressions, for example, in other words, that is, or simply put, namely, per se, or this means, or which means, yeah? Do you want me to give you one example? Or you think you can be able to say your own examples now? Because what I want to know is something about your job, right? All of you are already positioned in a company. Um, so according to your functions, according to your duties, can you explain us something using the clarification expressions? In my case, guys, um, I work as an English teacher, right? As you know, in, um, I teach classes every day. Uh, in other words, I always help my students. Every day. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. I am the first line of support service. So in other words, I have to pay attention to the channel, the attention channels. Excellent. To resolve the customers. <laughs> wonderful job wonderful job thank you for that example uh, danny next 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 somebody else please tell us about something you do any process that you follow for example in the place where i work at uh, we always calibrate our students and if one student is not performing, we have to send the student back to the previous level. In other words, if you are intermediate, but you're not participating in our classes, we send you back to basic level. You know what I mean? That is just an example. Okay, when you want to learn English and you want to speak fluently, simply put effort, consistency, and practice. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Okay, now make it interesting and prepare me one or two examples about something that you do in your company. Uh, maybe a process, maybe um, a policy that you guys have within your company. I would like to know, and if you could use, in other words, if you can use that ease, if you can use uh, simply put or namely, um, I would be very, very um, uh, thankful, let's say. So, 
tell us about something that you do. Let me ask, well, Angel is not available. So let me ask, why don't we ask Angela? She barely came in, came in right, Angela, Stella? What do you do in your company, Stella? I think she's not available. When I speak to you, you're not available. Uh, what about Jacqueline? Jacqueline, Jesenia, Miranda, are you there? Yes, I'm here. What do you do in your company? I, I do many things, <laughs> but... <laughs> I know, <laughs> but what's but your one, position? Uh, and I assist them in a, in a counting um, team. Department. Mm -hmm. You're an assistant. One of, yes. One of activity that I do is checking invoices month per month. And that means that I have to know basic legal information about invoices must to have. Wonderful. Uh, yes. And another activity um, is to, how can I say, emitir? Emitir? Uh, like emitir. You can say, you can say process. Okay, I, I process invoices too. And I have to I have to check if very uh, cuidadosamente. Carefully. Carefully. And that mean that if I, I, if I do an error and I have problems with my bus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And you can say process, you can also say send out, okay? Send out. Okay. Send out. I appreciate that information. Very good job, miss. Very good job. Uh, why don't we hear, let me see. Why don't we hear Sabrina? In my workplace, I am dental assistant. In other words, I have to do many things <laughs> to fill to fill a medical record of patients. Patients and patients and prepare for the doctor. And prepare all instruments for the doctor. Wow, that's very interesting, Miss. So you yes. know the names, you know the names of, of all the two? Yes, incisive, pro, molar, premolar, one, three, two, three, it's, it's for number. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, thank you. Thank you for your example. Let's go with Jaime. What you got, Jaime? Hello. Um, well, um, I work in as in a school I believe was what in other words I am a teacher <laughs> and I teach um fourth grade. Fourth grade. Fourth grade, yeah. Ah, oh, that's nice. The kids, huh? The kids, yes. <laughs> great, great, great. Thank you for the example. Good job, good job. Let me okay. go with the next participant. Why don't we hear Mario, Jose Mario, what you got, Jose? Good evening, everyone. Uh, in my ward, I supervise in site construction and safety process and check the the process and the invoice and, and the science construction. I am a engineer. 
Okay, but you haven't used any clarification expression. I want you to use, you know, the words. I want you to use simply put, this means or which means. Um, Jose Mario, in other words, you made, you build a, a tower. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and the other word rights clarification, the, the process for making a barbecue. <laughs> All right, thank you for the heads up and your participation. Why don't we go with um, Lady Ventura? Okay, um, normally I address a sentence. In other words, I control that all. Mm -hmm. um, only that. Okay, in other words, okay, what about Kathy Montesino? What's your opinion or your example, let's say? Um, I work in, as a human resources assistant, so you need to make the accounting sit in SAP with the salaries. I mean, you have to insert the amount of the salaries that the employee received in the payment and the law discount to, um, and at the end, the charge and the payment need to be equal. Needs to be. <laughs> Needs to be equal. Nice. So everything has to match. Otherwise, uh, it's, not, it's not correct. Exactly. Is it difficult? No. It's because if you have the the amount of the that the the employee receive, you need to be like concentrate in what you are doing. Excellent. Thank you for your sharing, Miss. Thank you for your sharing. We know a little bit more about you now. Um, why don't we hear some more examples? I have, um, let me see, Mr. Archimedes, share something, sir. Okay. My example is, my company make different styles of clothes. In other words, we are multi-styles. Multi styles, all Multi -styles. right. Yeah. And you say my company make or my company makes? Makes, makes with S in the end. Yes, very good. Remember to pronounce me that clearly. And um, very good job. Thank you for sharing. Let's go with um, Julio. What you got, Julio? Oh my God. <laughs> What happened? Um, yeah, uh, in my body, I do, um, I am person sales. Um, You're a salesperson. Yes, this is a person. Yes. Um, in my body is, um, I am busy the client. And you busy uh, the clients? Yes, I am busy mm -hmm. client. Uh, my, uh, my client uh, question free question me. Uh, My clients ask me. Ask me, yes, ask mm -hmm. me. About um, um, uh, above it, above above about above uh, the the browns. Um, uh, for example, um, the debtors hand a uh, ring so. Um, Client uh, asking me, um, you have Renzo? Um, for example, I I am say I know Renzo, but mm -hmm. uh, but how brand uh, ultra clean? Mm -hmm. um, yes, and uh, um, the client uh, need clarity. I am clarification. Uh, what is the benefit of the brand. 
And yeah, I, I am spray. Spray, yes, it's the, it's the brown. And um, it's the brown. Um, a wash a be, better better is it better um, more the the brown wings so yeah it's, it's client or 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 other other products and yes i i am explain clarify um, uh, what is you benefit the other brand from other brands. Thank you so much, Julio. Yes. Let's go okay. over the activity now. This is activity number seven. Let me hear the instructions read by, let's see, Jose René, can you help us with the instructions, please? Insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. Add the necessary point Contraction to join the clause and phrase together. Okay, for instance, number one, we have one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising, social networking sites. So here, the uh, clarification expression was simply put. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with two, three, and four try to see which clarification expression fits better and then we will compare with a partner i'm gonna give you what i'm gonna give you it's only four exercises i'm gonna give you six minutes okay six minutes is okay i think okay all right if you need more time let me know let's try to look for which clarification expression goes there in, in the position as well. Let's go.
Okay, okay, okay. I think I can come back with you now, guys. I think we are ready, aren't we? Are we ready? Do I have a volunteer for number two, please? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Oh, we have two. Okay, let's go with uh, Angel first, okay? okay? I love it. Okay, I think it's a, a brand recognition is very important element of a brand of brand awareness. Simple put, the consumer note that a particular brand exists. Mm -hmm. We're gonna compare in, your example. In my with case, hers. is different. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. One way to no brand and recognize recognition. Uh, Recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. 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 Correct. Let's go over pronunciation. Recognition. Repeat recognition. Recognition. Repeat awareness. Awareness. Uh -huh. In other words, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. That makes sense. Thank you, lady. Okay. Um, somebody else has this uh, different way? Me, teacher. Go ahead, July. Um, uh, um, yeah. Uh, uh, this is uh, on way uh, on way to increase the brand awareness into general online advertising so social regular sites. Ah, uh, that's number one. Do you have number two, Julio, by any chance? Um, brand rec 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 recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. The consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Okay, okay, but what is the clarification expression? You didn't say it. Um, yeah, um, in my case, or. Oh, oh, Okay, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. Yes? Yes. What is the clarification expression? Mm. Somebody has a different one? Um, we already said, in other words, in other words, that matches. In other words, the consumer, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Do we all agree with that one? In other words, or do you have a different answer? I agree with the lady. I agree. It's okay. Perfect, perfect. You agree. Say, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Perfect. Do I have a volunteer for number three? Me, teacher. Proceed, please. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service, namely by viewing the product's logo. Namely, yes, namely. Let's go over pronunciation. Repeat, identify. Identify. Okay, repeat. Certain. 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 Yes. Namely, by viewing the product's logo. Do you have a different answer for me, any of you guys? So, do you agree with his answer? Namely. I agree. I agree. I am agree, teacher. Now, 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 guys, you keep saying that mistake. You say, I am agree or I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Two words. I agree. Agree. Okay, go ahead. If you say, I, I am agree, that's incorrect. 
I agree. I agree. Okay, perfect. Agree. Perfect. Number four, number four, number four. Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Proceed, please. Thank you. This brand have become will know. This means they have replaced the common term for similar product in our language. This means, yes, that makes sense. Uh, now let's go over pronunciation. Repeat, well known. Well known. 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 Well known. Well known. Well known. Who can tell me a synonym of well known? Well known. Well known. Uh huh. It's popular. Popular. Good popular. job. Famous. Famous. Okay. Repeat here. Replaced. 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 Common. Replaced. Common. 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 Terms. 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 M terms. Do you have a different answer? Or do you agree? I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. But no, with the, this mean in my case, my case, which means perfect. And don't forget the S, which means, means. means. which means which excellent. Means. It also matches, it also matches, Danny. It also matches for sure. Let's go over number five. Do we have any volunteer? No volunteers. <clears throat> Can we hear Osbin? I haven't heard you today, Osbin. Can you try? Hey, teacher. You have to publish high quality content simply put by creating valuable content to be produced the new audience. Yes. Repeat, valuable. 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 Audiences. 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 Simply put, by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. Do you agree with that or do you have a different answer? Sounds good, huh? I have a difference. What do you have? Uh, you have to publish high quality content, uh, namely creating value, valuable, valuable content to be introduced to the new audiences. Audience. Audience. <laughs> audiences. Um, audiences. Repeat here, content. 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 Okay, guys, do you agree with um, Danielle's example? Did you say, did you say simply put? Is that what you said, Danny? No, namely. Na namely. 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 Is this for an answer sense? with me? What do you have? <laughs> In, in my case, is you have to publish high quality content, simple put by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audience. Audiences. 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 Simply put, yes. Simply put by creating valuable content. Yes, it makes sense. It makes that, sense. Yes, man? I, I have a question. Teacher, I think so is, is you have to, to publish high quality content that is by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. That is also correct. That is that also is, correct. It matches. Yeah. Yes, it matches. It makes sense. 
Eso es a través de, ¿verdad? Yeah. Introducir contenido valuable. So it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. Eh, let me see the one that Daniel said. Let me see the one that Daniel said. Namely, namely, Dani, is when you're going to uh, say something very, very specific that has a name, that has almost a proper name. Yeah, like, like in the example right here. Let me see, where was it? Look, namely, and I am mentioning a brand, like a name, yeah? Okay. So, namely is when you, when you specify the name of something. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Good job, guys. Thank you for your participation. We're going to go on activity eight now. It says group work, design and infographic. Uh, about the benefits of investigating, I'm sorry, of investing in increasing brand awareness. Design an infographic about the benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. Mm, I think that's going to take us too much time. Okay, so what we're going to do is the following. I want to do something more interactive. Uh, let's see. Since we already uh, understood the uh, clarification expressions, uh, let me ask you something. Who in this class works in um, at work? You need to provide customer service. Do you provide customer service in your company? It, or that is that is not one of your activities. Do you provide customer service? Do you sometimes provide customer service to the customers or client? No, but you know what customer service is, correct? Service. The call center are customer server. Uh, the call centers the call centers have a variety of uh, accounts yes uh, customer service is one of the accounts that they could have but in a cost uh, in a call center you can find sales you can find chats you can find in, in uh, my case i guess uh, sometimes i i talk to to a customer but it rarely <laughs> Okay, you are a receptionist. Sometimes yes. you need to provide customer service during Sometimes. the calls, right? Yes. So can you explain what is customer service? Um, give, to, give something to a customer, a service. <laughs> I got yeah. service. Is when we provide, yes, is when we provide a good service to the customer over the phone or in person. So is when we assist the customer and, and we take the customer's request and, and we tell the customer that we're going to help them and the customer finishes very happy. Yeah. Because, because he was provided with a good service, not a random service, but a good service with uh, politeness, with professionalism, with a lot of good manners and soft skills. Um, yes, so that teacher, is customer service. Yes. Okay, I think sometimes it's complicated, complicated because there are some clients that are very, a street in some sometimes for example i in my team group my team work have a uh, the my team is sometimes called to the client to 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 give us the resolution about the 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 credit mm -hmm. and sometimes there are some people that if you try to make a good customer service the people will be complicated sometimes and the people say I would like to to talk with your your manager and the and my 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 
junior analysts co uh, come to me and, and tell me, help me please, there I have a client that <laughs> explains it's something It's special. Like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, so it's complicated because sometimes they uh, start. For example, I, I told I told him, okay, um, give me the number, and I called and I give you the resolution. Uh, sometimes because their credit is rejected, when the credit is rejected, I call the client and say, um, I can't give us give you your credit because have a a bad. Mm. Credit Record. score. Yes, credit scores. Yeah, and sometimes it's complicated. When some people, when you, when I call, is start to 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 screen, screen. Yeah, to gel at you. Yes, um, but uh, it is a, a like a, for internal pol politician. Sometimes <laughs> I can I can explain because there are some. I don't internal, know how you say internal fraud. policies. Yes. Fraud. 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 Yes, because sometimes, for example, there are people that present a document there is not um, certificate or something. Certified. Cer certified. Certified. Yes, it's not certified. And also sometimes they present that document and want a credit and it's not correct. And I analyze the my junior analyst uh, analyze the document and after it uh, talked to me this kind of document is like uh, how do you tell me is fraud 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 is is proud and for that reason i can't give it the 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 credit but the people was very angry ah don't worry i told with i told with him or with her uh, give me the number Sometimes I, because it's not, it's not face to face, but there are another platform I work to that is face to face. It's like a video, video call. call. Yes, mm -hmm. a video call <laughs> is complicated because sometimes that people confront, confront me and- it, They take it me, personal. Yes, give me an explanation why I can't, I get I can't get a credit with you, and the people say that I pay very well. I am not a, in in a bad red, red, a credit credit score. score. Yes, and it's complicated, but I try it. Yeah, Richard, go ahead. In, in my case, is um similar um. And in my world, uh, I am visit uh, the clients, and um, the client say me, uh, my I I feel my body is funny, it's very funny, yes. And um, my client say me, um, uh, oh my God, uh, Don Julio, uh, I I I waiting for you, <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, I. I am uni uni product, yeah. And um and uh, I I apply um uh, on my clients uh what is um characteristics the the products. Um mm -hmm. something something clients say me, hey come on here, uh, sit down please, you 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 need a drink, a soda, or water. Yeah, it's it's very good. It's all it's all my client um uh, his conversation. Um, I am I am little um uh, always say uh, my client says true, true. Um, no no little no say little my clients um. They, uh, they, they, um, no, no, uh, I am no, no person here. Uh, and, um, in prefer, prefer my, my company for, um, 
distribution, distribution uh, money product. All right, sir. Thank you for your sharing. I'm, I really like what Angel also added. Um, he says that sometimes he faces difficult customers. And um, <clears throat> us, as representatives of our companies, we always have to remain professional and we always have to stay focused, attentive. We have to be sometimes good news providers, but sometimes we need to be or provide bad news, bad news providers. Now, customer service is about providing the bad news and trying to keep the customer as happy as possible. That's, that's the challenge. Don't lose the composure. Don't change your tone of voice. Continue the same. Don't take it personal. So, wow. That's why call centers, call centers are famous because call centers focus on customer service. You have to provide the best service to uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 callers every day. So that's why it's stressful. That's why a call center's job is stressful because it's difficult to be happy, happy, happy with every single customer. Some customers are happy, some customers are angry, some customers are difficult, some customers are easy. So it's not easy. <laughs> yes, I, I am. I am. Um, I have a, a consumer angry, but um, uh, but I I know I know identify identify with uh, you angry and I am uh, give it here give it uh, one a smile for uh, my clients um, and a the client change you you move yes that's correct yes. your customer can even uh, change your mood if try, you try, try. Uh, yes so don't take it personal right now i just posted a link for you this link is gonna tell you about six keys to creating wow customer service experiences so there are there are c i'm sorry there are six key factors for you to have like a wow in the customer's face. When it comes about customer service, the objective is to put a wow in the customer's face as a result of our customer service. So there you will see some items um, such as proactive service. Yeah, proactive service such as courtesy, courtesy, uh, resourcefulness, and um, attentiveness, attentive service, truth, truth worthy service. So seamless service. I want you to take a reading, have a little bit of reading. If you get new vocabulary, please share, okay? And you're going to tell me one of the keys uh, factors for you to um, put a wow in the customer's face, okay? So choose one of them and, and, and tell us why is it important? Why attentiveness is important? Why attentive service is important? If you choose resourcefulness, why is it important? Okay? So have a moment to have this reading, please. Have a moment to have this reading. I'm going to post this link also on the WhatsApp chat. Some people like it in the WhatsApp chat better. And I'm gonna give you 10 minutes I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to, to read, okay? To read, okay? And then I'm gonna give you five extra minutes to prepare, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you 10 to read and five more minutes to prepare your thoughts, okay? Any question? Do you understand the activity? Do you, you or don't you? Okay. Yes, I'm gonna, well, you can check the link now already. It's on the Zoom chat and I'm gonna put it now on the WhatsApp. Open it up, 
and uh, you will find a reading. This reading is about the six, yeah, six keys, six solutions, let's say, to creating a wow, a happy face on the customer. Uh, read it all, and at the end, choose your favorite choose your favorite key and talk to us about it. Why do you think it's important? For example, in my case, I will say resourcefulness. Resourcefulness because I believe that every time a customer calls you is because the customer needs something. People call you because people need something. If they didn't call you, it's because they don't need anything. <laughs> so they are calling you for a need and you are there to satisfy their needs. Or if you cannot satisfy their needs, you have to try to find any kind of option to keep your customer wow, to keep your customer happy. So for me, resourcefulness is the one. So I need you to talk to me about that, okay? I'm sorry, uh, I didn't see anything in the chat. And it was it's empty. My chat is empty, really. Okay, I'm posting it right now on the WhatsApp. Can you check the WhatsApp? Okay, thank you. My pleasure. It's also on the Zoom chat, guys. 15 minutes, starting now. Let's go.
already, already time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear the key that you chose to have a wow face on your customers. Let's start with um, Angel, what you have? Okay, well, in, to, to me, well, I, I, I tried and I need to, to practice, um, practice service. Uh, why? Because for example, I not work with a customer like the client. I, I, I try to be a, a good customer service, a practical customer service with the manager because I am a, like an Alisa a senior, I'm a senior. And for example, if there are some problem with a, a some, a some clients sometimes, the, the manager called to me and, and ask me about the client and I need to, to try to resolve or to give a, res a solution about the problem. And I need to, to, to be practical because sometimes I don't, I, I don't know how do you say, I don't esperar, I don't wait. I don't expect. I, I don't expect to the, to the manager uh, ask me a explanation about that. I just mm -hmm. try to, to kill my, my, Ver, my my better customer my service with my best customer service with the manager and also sometimes mm, it's difficult because I think at the beginning I think because it's the, the same company the people that are not strict with you or maybe the people that are not uh, to be stressed but the manager of 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 this the same company sometimes are very impolite when they try to to get something mm -hmm. it's very difficult in, in also mm, the customer service that I use always is uh, to be a proactive customer service because we need to be I don't know how do you say eh, estar un paso adelante. we have to be ahead yes you have to be ahead and with the explanation about some credit about, for example, because it's complicated, because I sell a car or maybe a credit, a car, a credit, or maybe a house. And yeah. the manager was, oh, we'll be angry sometimes, but we'll be complicated because they want to sell. And, mm -hmm. and to me, we need to analyze the client and they have a capacity of pay. But if the client don't have capacity to, uh, to pay the credit, I can't give you a credit. Um, but we need to, I don't know, we need to prepare to call the manager before to call the manager. We need to prepare the, the explanation, the, um, I don't know how to say, the example why the people not uh, get the credit. So you need to get that information. Okay, why the customer does not apply for a credit? So your cho your your option was proactive service, correct? Yes. Thank you so much, Angel. Let's continue with Jose Mario. What do you have, Jose? Hello, teacher. Um, I have the six K keys for wild customer service is. It's important and other moment and 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 always, always die for. In in my case, and I talking about talking for clients every day, and it's necessary. Say complete uh, complete complete name, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, see her face or and understand the position or or the situation for for the other people for the client and mm -hmm. it's necessary practice the six k for the the six keys so you don't have a six. favorite one you 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 choose all of them 
all of them are important for you, huh? Yeah, but um, the pro I prefer proactive service. Proactive service, yes, Pro proactive, proactive service. Why? Proactive service is, is my is my prefer, and when I I can. Uh, I can anything for for the people, for the client, for the uh, uh, customer. I can do. I can do anything. I can do anything for the customer. Thank you, anything. Jose. Thank you, Jose. Let's go with Jaime Avelar. Okay. Um, I start with a uh, uh, question. Um, if you when you feel sick, uh, do you like going to the social security? Or <laughs> Sabrina say no. I have never gone to to, to why no. why no because I I I I once I went with my co-worker and she is a friend. And no, we are we are out, and 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 nobody nobody pays attention to us, and we are sat down, and 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 I understand that there are many younger women pregnant, but we have been for uh, five hours hours. hours and one little girl pregnant was was in in the the security and the and seguro social security social security social social security so, social and and, yeah. and 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 they attendance and and i'm okay and that, that was good but my co-worker was really sick and nobody notifies him i know no 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 <laughs> For that, I don't want. I I don't go. <laughs> okay, um, I select the the courtesy because uh, I I think every every everybody think same because I I feel sick. I prefer going to um, clinic, private clinic because the tension is very good um, when you and uh, um, when you uh, how do you say entras al, al local when you access when you get in when you when you get access in the clinic the um, the receptionist is uh, uh, there receive you when with a smile and say hello how are you and you feel well <laughs> when you when feel welcome people... you feel welcome yes but when you go to social se se seguro social you don't feel welcome yes it's, <laughs> i think this um um this um what do you say this problem no, I think this uh, um, service experience is in the social security is a bad experience. It's a but... headache. <laughs> in in other place, when you pay uh, uh, in the social security, you pay every month. <laughs> but um, when you uh, you go into the the private private a clinic or other service you paid in the moment the service is, is yes. very good okay courtesy thank you Jaime that was pretty interesting let's go Miss um, Kathy it's your turn Soriano my turn <laughs> it is okay in my case, um, I think <clears throat> I I took 
attentive, attentive service and proactive service. I think it's important to be attentive, <laughs> sorry, to the needs, necessities. Needs, so how you pay attention, yes. right? Yes, you need to pay attention to the needs of customers yeah. or whatever people. If, for example, in the street, <laughs> is we can talk to about courtesy, like uh, Jaime Phil. And I think it's important. Also, in, in my job, um I try to be to be attentive and give a attentive service <laughs> to to give a courtesy <laughs> with mm -hmm. uh, with the customers, but really I don't have too much uh, to talk with with the customer. I normally <laughs> I talk with, uh, how do you say, providers? Providers or suppliers. Providers, yes, providers or suppliers. But customer is, is rarely. <laughs> okay, so you chose uh, proactive service and atten attentiveness. Yes. <laughs> Attentive service. Okay, very nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, who else? Lady, let's go Lady Ventura. What you got, Lady? What did you choose? Okay, I chose the courtesy um, in my case, and because normally in the actually many people don't have to any idea about the courtesy. And it's very important the worst thing um then you or uh, than them tell the client some customers service don't know how to treat the client because they don't polite and and this morning uh, I went to doctor with my mom yeah and the secretary or assistant is not polite. He is a particular doctor. Is more expensive. And then what happened? I it's don't know. supposed have... to be more polite. More yes. When 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 I, when Jaime say when you pay and in this moment it's better. And this time, really, really, is what happened? Is not limosna. It's Bad not service, huh? And. I don't know what happened when the people um, contrata this, hire. hire this person for the customer service is, oh my God, is terrible. Ah, grievously, demasiado. It's too much. It's too much. And another case, the, the customer service talked to you. Um, and understand polite and when you talk to them, talk to them, uh, them call you by, by your name. And it was very important. Well, we always look for personalized service because we want to be, we want to be treated as a family member, especially when you are paying. Uh, people should provide the best customer service, but in some places they are not doing it. I'm sorry you had that bad experience today with your mom, lady. You didn't deserve that. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you. All right, so what about Kathy Montesino? What is your opinion, lady, young girl? I agree with lady. I think that the courtesy is the first thing for me. If you treat me bad, I will not be able to um, um, pedir. Ask for. for. 
ask for something and I will better to um to have other provider because this is the first impression the the service that you offer to the customer so for me the courtesy is the most important thing and in everything I think when you know someone uh, if when it treat when he or she treat you uh, well you are like in family as you said so you are like um com comfortable Comfort, with this yeah. thing definitely with this thing. Definitely, good opinion, Katy. And lady, uh, para decir a, ahora en día o en estos días o para decir actualmente, vamos a usar nowadays. Okay, I chatted for you on the chat. Thank you so much for your opinions, okay, Katy. Sure. Lady, good job, good job. Let's hear Daniel Arquímedes. Okay. I am agree with Katy Montesino and Lady Ventura because my favorite she of for via excellent customer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's a courtesy so because i uh, i think the people when it's calling whatever place whatever office i don't know uh, every everybody need to more comprehension about this problem the different problems whatever problem uh, you need uh, the people need to solve a different situation uh, for it, uh, the people try to um, to talk, to express, to say what happened with uh, in this in this moment. For example, if I if I uh, have a problem with let me see with my car, I call to the mechanics. Uh, I we will try to explain what happened with my car. Um, if I have an accident, I will call to the the security of the car. The, the car. Uh, but if the other person, the customers, uh, don't understand me, don't have any comprehension about me, I will feel bad uh, for because I could be a uh, nervous, sad, uh, I don't know. Uh, every people need more comprehension when it feels so bad, I think. For this, I think is, hey, you can apply courtesy in different situations, in different places, yeah. whatever. Of in your I general life, right? Yeah, yes. It's a, it's a art that the people lost, say, in the courtesy. Uh, but I know, true. I know. It's... Everybody is bad tempered. Everybody is moody. Uh, some people don't appreciate their jobs. Uh, some people don't go the extra mile for the customers. People um, don't have empathy. People don't have empathy. They don't put themselves in the customer's shoes. So you can be, you provide good, good customer service. You have to feel your customer's problem. You have to treat your customer as a family member. You have to be courteous. You have to be polite, professional. Look for options, proactivity, proactivity. Say options, different alternatives. Look for solutions for the customer. Customer. Your goal is that the customer lives with a smile in his or her face. <laughs> the first come, uh, the first impression is that is uh, evaluate is uh, let me see is more important. I think the first Thank impression you. that you have. Yeah. Appreciate Dan. Appreciate Dan. Nice job. Let's hear Manu. It's been quiet, Manu. Are you still there with us or no? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I think so is the customer service is in the pants of the people. Um, I remember when my father six um, and social security, his attendant is well, is the is the dog when when the dog when my father Sometimes uh, six, um, I only call call the doctor, and the doctor told me, "Okay, please, um, 
you need to to can to can at the hospital and immediately the the, the cardiologist is is uh, ar uh, is arrive is is can Many uh, is the, hospital? the cardiologist arrives there. Okay, it is is immediately the the cardiologist right there, and when my my father had sur surgery had a sur surgery had a surgery is the cardiologist is a good doctor is uh is always um when um talk talk. Told my family, it's about the situation for the for the the surgery for my father. And the other time when my father surgery of the eyes, and the doctor is very bad, and mm -hmm. and, and the social security. And I think so is the the customer service is the in is in the pants of the people. It's in the pants the the. It is is in my, in my opinion is it depends the the on myself or, or depends de uno mismo. Depends of yourself. Okay, it depends of yourself. Yeah, is I, I I think so. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I appreciate all your opinions, guys. Let me just check the attendance. Let me see, I have all the people present here with the exception of Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Are you with us? Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo, are you with us? Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello. Oh, okay. Christian Josue Lopez Perez. Okay, we have some people else. And guys, thank you so much for making it so interesting. I really enjoy having a talk, talking about different topics with you, having interactions, getting to know a little bit more about what you do and, and the way you share the information. Thank you for always making it that interesting, okay? I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 8 p.m. in the same channel. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Good night. Okay, Good night. it is all. I <laughs> don't pass a attendance list. I, I did. I did. I just mentioned the people that were absent. Uh, okay. okay. No worries. I have you. Okay. I have you right here. No worries. Thank Sweet you. dreams. Good. <laughs> good bless to everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Good night. Have a good okay. dream. Have a good night. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. It's, it's fresh. It's fresh. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it. Bye bye. Bye. Sweet dreams. Bye. <laughs> Sweet dreams.